everyone. Welcome to our live demo today. My name is Ricky. I'm a portfolio manager here at Ari Jones, responsible for pouching, aerosol, and chub. Today, we'll speak specifically about pouching, the history of Ari Jones, and why our customers choose to buy from us again and again. Ari Jones, we've been in the industry since 1905, over 115 years. We're present in multiple industries and in multiple packaging technologies, as you can see here on the screen. Of course, the markets that we serve today are mainly in the food, beverage, dairy, pharma, personal care, and industrial applications. As we go into more detail about our pouching equipment, you can see the multiple applications that we serve in the market today. We have over 40 over years of engineering pouching equipment globally. We have over 400 machines installed. Um, on our high-speed pouch king machinery, we have leading edge vertical sealing technology and the ability to run multiple product counts on a single knife without changeover at a very, very high speed. We also offer complete line solutions. That means pouch going the cartons and also palletizing those cartons. As RA Jones and part of the Coesia Group, we sell, service, and support full pack horizontal foam field seal equipment here in the United States as well. One of the main reasons why our customers choose to buy from us over and over again is because of our experience. We have engineered and installed over 9,000 machines over the last 114 years. We're active in eight different packaging technologies serving multiple industries. Today, we have over 80 in-house engineers with an average tenure of over 16 years. We also take a lot of pride in our service. We have 40 over factory certified technicians with over 600 years of combined experience. We have a robust offering of remote assistance, on-site service, training, and machine audits. We also give our customers access to an experienced OEM parts department and a modernizations team so when our customers move from one product to the other, we're able to help them. Ari Jones is part of the Coesia Group, a global leader in industrial and packaging solutions. With over 21 sister companies in the industry, we are able to leverage technological and service strengths of the group, and we apply this to new innovative solutions for our customers. So a lot of our vendors seek us out first to apply these technologies. Our commitment to our customers is shown through our full-time project management team that's dedicated to every project. Our equipment installation team stays on site until customer performance expectations are achieved. We guarantee parts, service, and support of these equipment for at least 20 years. Now you're looking at a video of the ultra high speed pouch key machine that's able to run up to 7,000 linear inches per minute, a maximum pouch width of about eight inches and a maximum pouch height of about 7.5 inches. There are some unique features on this machine that I would like to highlight. It's a full servo driven machine with an automatic web splicer. We have a patented vertical sealer technology and with its modular design, we can apply multiple filler technology to the machine for multiple component filling. We can also apply easy open tan notch and also apply complete collating, transfer and cartoning systems for a complete line. Bullpack and R.A. Jones are part of the Coesia Group. Here in the United States, R.A. Jones is responsible for servicing, selling, and supporting this equipment here in the U.S. You're looking at a video of a machine that was here for our customer demo machine program. This machine was here for our customers to view in person and to see multiple functionalities that Volpac is famous for in industry for. For example, the pouches that you see um, for liquid filling, applying fitments, zippers, and stand-up pouches. This is another good example of innovation between the synergies between Volpac and R.A. Jones. The Stancap pouch machine was designed in Volpac in Barcelona, but commercialized here in the U.S. We have options of horizontal foam field seal, also pre-made pouches through our exclusive suppliers here in the U.S. Now, we'll go to the floor and show you the customer projects that we're building so we can go into more detail on the machines. So this is Rob and he's been with R.A. Jones for almost 40 years now. Rob is now our innovation manager. And we're right in front of a project that Rob and I worked on together on the, the innovation side. Uh, Rob, can you tell us a little bit more about innovation here at Ari Jones and Coesia? Certainly. So um, I'd like to start by saying that the innovation function is really made up of people and process. So first, let me tell you a little bit about the people. So here at Ari Jones, we have 10 full-time engineering resources that are part of my group. Um, we have 80 plus engineers that are really part of R.A. Jones North America. And depending on the size of the project, we'll include some of those 
80 to support bigger projects. And that very often happens. Wow. Um, along with that, we have access to the CEC, which is the Cohesion Engineering Center. Co Cohesion Engineering Center is a, a group of very talented individuals who have cross-group experience. There's about 45 of those guys. And we'll be able to draw on those guys for a variety of different things throughout projects. Great. Along with that, there's 21 sister companies that we have access to um, from a technology standpoint. All in all, there's about 1,700 engineering resources within Cohesion. Of that group, average tenure is about 17 years. Oh. And within that group, we've got over 700 patents that have been issued and growing. Great, that's a lot of resources, a lot of engineers, a lot of patents, Rob. There must be an innovation process to manage all that. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Certainly. So the process that we have, we consider customer-centric. Um, we have R&D resources, we have the CEC, corporate synergy that we work with, we have the model, the cohesion model, which includes marketing, the customer, and engineering. Um, the expectation there is that the outcome is going to be closer to what the customer expects. With the marketing input, it's going to be looking at the market at large, and with the engineering input, we'll have something that can be produced. Great, great. So, Rob, of course, is from the innovation side, and I'm from marketing. This is actually a project that Rob and I worked on together. Um, Rob, can you tell us a little bit more about this project and the history of how we got here? Certainly. So this machine that we're looking at here, the technology was actually developed in Spain by Volpac. Um, they produce a, a machine that's very similar to this, that's a horizontal form fill and seal machine. And what we did here was we worked with them to bring the technology to North America so that we could support it, number one. And number two, we took and we dissected the machine and we, this machine all it does is form the pouch. So what it's able to do is to be sold to customers who then manufacture these pouches for the pre-made market. Great. What's unique about this design is that we have a three-dimensional pouch that goes through a forming system that's a little bit unique. It also includes a tamper-evident fitment because the pouch is actually filled through the bottom seal rather than being filled through the spout. It also has a cap that gets put onto the machine, or onto the package, that has a valve and it's reclosable. So it's a little bit unique of a package. Great. So this innovation process, of course, it's R.A. Jones, our sister company, Volpac, that developed the technology and through the innovation process, working with the customer. Um, of course, that all is reflected on this machine that we're building. Can you show us some of these features that you're talking about, Rob, that allow this innovation to happen? Certainly. So one of the things that we did was we localized the machine for production in North America. Um, that was key to being able to provide spare parts to the end user and also to make the manufacturing of the equipment efficient here in North America. So one of the things that we wrestled with here was the area of the machine where we are placing the fitment which is the tamper evident piece that I was talking about earlier, into the film after we've punched the holes. So to stay with the, the design, provide additional flexibility, we had to come up with a system here that could reliably pick the fitment and put it into the film as the film indexes as it leaves this station here. So one of the new developments that came out of our innovation group was this custom robotic solution here that we're calling our pick and place. Great. You mentioned a little bit of flexibility, Rob. What are the features on this machine that answers the question of flexibility? Sure. So to provide a greater range of pouch sizes, we had to be able to put into place something that would allow us to calibrate between sizes. So what you'll see in different parts of the machine is an area that includes a calibrated setting. So in this particular case here, we're looking at the photo eye that looks for the eye marks for registration. Other areas of the machine that include those sorts of features are the ceiling bars which have to be changed for a cutoff change 
or any of the bottom seal features here that have to be calibrated as the pouch grows in height. So, Rob, this is, of course, um, a project that involved many stakeholders. Um, why did we as Ari Jones decided to take part in a flexible packaging project like this? That's an interesting question. Uh, one of the things that I think we can look at here is the fact that this machine has not introduced us to flexible, flexible packaging. As a matter of fact, we've been doing flexible packaging for over 45 years with our Pouch King. Now this machine's a little bit different from the Pouch King. The Pouch King generates basically a two-dimensional pouch, um, whereas this creates a three-dimensional pouch that includes the fitment and the, the cap. So it's not new to us. We already have that expertise within Covington, um, not only within the engineering and our innovation staff, but also within the, the technical people that we have on staff that do the assembly, that do the wiring, that do the programming, that also service the equipment in the field. So it's really a natural progression to the PK line that we already have. Great, you mentioned the PK line, Rob. That's the Ari Jones Pouch King. Um, this is an ultra high speed machine that runs up to almost 7,000 linear inches per minute. Um, and on those machines, one of the capabilities here at Ari Jones is we're able to adapt multiple versions of that machines according to our customer's requirements. For example, um, we're able to adapt multiple fillers according to customer requirements. Um, we have our own transfer systems to be able to put them into Ari Jones Cartners. Ari Jones, we're well known in the industry for our Cartners. Um, simply put, we're able to provide a full integrated line for our customers through not just pouching, but all the technologies that you're seeing within Ari Jones, our sister companies, and Coesia. So, you know, we talked about Volpac as a pouching company. Ari Jones, we also have experience in pouching. There are a lot of trends in um, in the world right now, globally, you know, towards sustainability. Customers wanting to move towards recyclable, compostable film. Uh, what are the challenges that you're seeing from an innovation standpoint as a machine manufacturer, Rob? So that, that, that's a good thing to, to talk about. Um, so the sustainable film initiatives that are going on globally um, are starting to put pressure onto the, to the brand owners, to the people that, are, that have the product that's produced and, and packaged that way. One of the things that we're seeing with these new film structures is that they are more stretchable, they're extensible, and when you apply heat to them, that you have to be very careful that you don't overheat that area. Um, so we're currently in the middle of a, of a project right now where we have some dedicated resources here in Covington, basically leading the effort associated with the PK. Um, we're making use of the model that I spoke of earlier. So in other words, we've involved the CEC. So we have individuals over there that are helping us look for technology that we've already applied within the Coesia group of, of, of companies. We've been in contact with numerous of those 21 companies that I'm talking about who have similar issues that they're dealing with. We've, we also have access to some labs that are located in Bologna within the, the control of the CEC and also some labs that are within the, the buildings of our sister companies. So we're, we're going through a process right now of trying to research technologies that is available on the market and also look at technology that we have within the, the Coesia companies that we can apply to this sustainable film initiative to be able to come up with a solution so that you can continue to operate at very high speeds on a PK, but to manage these new film structures. Great, and of course, within those projects, we're also working with our customers. So thanks, Rob, for sharing with us the innovation process, your experience in all these projects. You know, um, of course, innovation is an integral part of not just Ari Jones, um, our sister companies, and also Coesia. Innovation is what we do. So thank you for that, Rob. Um, now let's go and check out the machine running. Thank you for joining in and learning about our portfolio of equipment. We take a lot of pride in our service, so be sure to learn more about our service and support offerings by watching our customer service demonstration that's available to you as well. Thank you.